<laughs> well, here we are. Here we are, bro. You're, you're in our squad. I'm so here happy. I'm excited to have you here. How how you feeling about today? How you feeling about being a part of Fun DMC now? Um, it's uh, it's it's been so much fun, bro. I had no idea about the whole faction stuff, but I'm really getting into it now. Watching back old matches. Um, you guys, uh, you guys are a solid group of people. About this match today, I mean, it's a Sunday, and I'm wearing pants, so I'm taking this really seriously. That actually, I'm, I don't know if I should be worried that you're wearing pants. Most of the times I'm fucking out with you, you've been on another, another place. Uh, but you seem very, you, you're zoned in today. This is. Yeah, I'm level headed. I'm excited to see how you do when you're not like 15 beers deep and it's 10 o'clock in the morning for you. Yeah, it's the first one, so it's. Oh. <laughs> anything can happen. This is nothing. All right, mm -hmm. you ready to go? Very ready, sir. All right, let's do this. Right on. Uh, the Blue Oyster Cult made a song called Don't Fear the Reaper. Uh, that is the opposite of what you should do today. Uh, look, uh, it's fun, DMC. I feel mm -hmm. like we kind of got their number a little bit. Uh, we got our rookie. We got our guy. Uh, Abel, you can call me John, or you can call uh, me Kane, because John's the rock, uh, and this is going to be a... This is going to be a fun day for you. Just try and enjoy it because uh, we're going for the W. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I am your host, Caleb Lilbo Boatman, and we got a debut match coming for you. Abel DeLeu going up against John Marr. Uh, I, I all will apologize to April right now. He told me that not his name, and I my tongue is just, I can't say it. <laughs> anyway, before we bring in our competitors, uh, Mr. Dylan Van Thine on the desk once again. Yes. Dylan, how are you feeling about this matchup? Uh, feeling pretty good. It should be a good match. I mean, the two familiar faces are with this channel, but making their debuts for the first time should be pretty interesting. Absolutely. Well, we will bring in our competitors. So we are going to get started into round one. Round one is going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right, you get a bonus question. You're going to be writing your answers down on a whiteboard or a piece of paper if you prefer. Three repeats and a challenge throughout the entire match. Remember to keep your hands on screen at all times. So we are going to get started with your first question, which comes in the category of directors. Who directed Gran Torino, Unforgiven, and The Outlaw Josie Wales? Really enjoy one of these movies. That is fair. Who knows like, on the other two? I like all three of these to varying degrees. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Abel. Uh, Mr. Cohen. And John. Clint Eastwood. Both correct. All right. Your next question comes in the category of sports. What sport does Keanu Reeves coach in hardball? Okay, Dylan. Uh, out of – you're on the writing team now. Abel, can you have your hands on screen, please? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, good. Uh, you're, you're on the writing team now. So yes. you know half of us hate sports. Where are you on the – I'm in the half of hating all sports except for MMA. That's the only one I watch. <laughs> Two, one. That's fair. Let's go to John. Baseball. And Abel. I also set that one American sport, baseball. Baseball is correct. We're getting to your third question category of Oscars. What film won Best Picture for films released in 2000? A.K.A. the year I was born. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Sorry, well, can you have both hands on screen, please? Well, yeah. Uh, mm. I'm older than you. That's, that's fun. I'm older than you. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Abel. I said uh, Gladiator. And John. Gladiator. Both correct. All right. Next question is in actors and actresses. What actor stars in the classic films Charade, His Girl Friday, and North by Northwest? Okay. Do you, are you good at charades, Dylan? 
Oh God, I'm terrible at charades. I'm too worried okay. about embarrassing myself. That's why I don't really go for it in charades. If I was worried about embarrassing myself, I wouldn't host ever. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to John. Cary Grant. And Abel. I also call him Cary Grant. Cary Grant is correct. As we get to your fifth Lucky question. Your handwriting a little bit. Again, your fifth question category of war. Patton, the longest day in Saving Private Ryan all take place during which war? Without naming a war, what's your favorite war? The one where I didn't burn down those villages. <laughs> <Fuck. Good> one. <laughs> <laughs> One that doesn't leave a lot of options. <laughs> John. World War II. And Abel. Are you allowed to have a favorite war? Uh, World War II. I wasn't allowed to shoot Kennedy either, but apparently I did, according to Cannon. <laughs> All right. Next question is in crime. What? Uh, whoops, sorry. What name is the killer referred to by in seven? You see, the, there's the joke that I that I killed Kennedy. And at this point, it's gone too far to stop that train. It just, I wasn't aware that it was a joke. Yeah, that, oh, that's like <laughs> frequently comes up in matches. That I did that. Oh, no, I heard it. I just thought you were serious. Four. <laughs> Three, two, I'm just kidding. It is four. going too far at this point. <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> Me? Yeah. Uh, John Doe. And John. John Doe. Both correct. Nice. So we get into your pen ultimate question category of coming of age. What 80s coming of age movie is about a nerdy high school student who hires a popular girl to pose as his girlfriend in order to increase his own popularity? Uh, I've done all of this except for like everything past the word student. Did it increase your popularity? No, I was saying every, anything I said after the word student. Oh, okay. I, I did, didn't have five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Abel. Uh, I said uh, 16 candles. And John. You can't buy me love? Can't buy me love. It's correct. All right. Final question comes in 1970s. Name both of the two romantic leads in Annie Hall. And I believe if John gets this right, not to jinx him, he will get a perfect round. That is correct. A perfect round, as they say. Five. Yes. Four. Repeat the, repeat the question, please. Okay. That is Abel's first repeat. All right. In 70s, name both of the two romantic leads in Annie Hall. Uh, do you like the musical, Annie? I'm not a big musical guy, so I'm afraid not. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Pens down. And he's overrated anyway. Let's go to Abel. Mm. I don't know. I said Woody Allen and Diane Keaton. And John for the perfect round. Woody Allen and Diane Keaton. That is correct. So we will give, be giving John a bonus question. John, your bonus question. This is just to you. You don't have to write it down. Who directed 1968's The Thomas Crown Affair? Puh. Uh, I have no idea. William Friedkin. That is incorrect. Looking for Norman Jewison. Okay. So, uh, coming out of round one is eight to seven, Abel, as we get into round two. Round two is going to work eight, like this. Did you say eight to seven, Abel? Sorry, eight to seven, John. Excuse me. Excuse me. Eight to seven, John, as we get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. 
each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like they spin, they can keep it. They own, they can spin again, but then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions in whatever category they get. They get it right, two points, multiple choice, one point. They get it wrong. Other player gets a chance for a steal. The categories on our lovely wheel tonight are Able Strengths of Middle Earth and Colin Farrell, John Strengths of Post-2010 Horror Anthology and Slasher Movies. We also have Directors, Musicals, Scores and Soundtracks, and Jack Nicholson. So, John, you're in the lead. We'll bring in your manager. Would you like to spin first or defer? Eight points in round one. Let well, you go. Well, I'm going to defer to Caleb to make the decision. I, I would say let's go second and let him uh, take something off the wheel for us first. Sounds you don't good. get to refer to me to make that decision. Caleb with a K. <laughs> so, uh, we're, 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 decision now? I got distracted by me. We'll go, we'll go second. Okay. Okay, Abel, this is your spin. Cool. We want to go first anyway. Go. Yeah. And you land in the category of Jack Nicholson. Would you like to keep that or spin again? It's not um, bad. There's a few on here. Probably want less. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. Um, I like Jackie Boy. Let's yeah, go you want it. stick with it? Yeah, I would say stick with this. You got multiple choice. Use it. It's a great first round. You're only down one, so do what you can do. Feeling right. good. Let's go. I will give you your questions in the category of Jack Nicholson. First question in the category of Jack Nicholson. Abel. Jack Nicholson portrays real life playwright Eugene O'Neill in what film? Five, four, three. As good as it gets. That is incorrect, John, for the two-point steal. Red. That is correct for two points. Next question. How many total acting Oscars has Jack Nicholson won? Three. That is correct for two points. In One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, what does McMurphy do with the other patients on the day they steal a bus and escape? Hmm. It's been a minute. Um, I'll go multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, takes them to a movie, B, takes them fishing, C, takes them to a baseball game, D, takes them to a strip club. I'll say C, takes them to a baseball game. That is incorrect, John, for the one-point steal. Your options, again, are A, takes them to a movie, B, takes them fishing, C, takes them to a baseball game, D, takes them to a strip club. I thought it was a baseball game, too. I'll say fishing. That is correct for one point. Okay, Abel, your pen ultimate question in the category of Jack Nicholson. How does Captain Queenan die in The Departed? He gets thrown off a roof. That is correct for two points. And your final question in the category of Jack Nicholson. What is the profession of Jack's character in Easy Rider? I'll go multiple choice again. Multiple choice options are A, lawyer, B, daredevil, C, event promoter, D, writer. And that's writer with a W, yeah? Yes. As in, yeah, exactly. Um, seems like a weird-ass profession, but I'll go with B, daredevil. That is incorrect, John, for the one-point steal. Your options are A, lawyer, B, daredevil, C, event promoter, D, writer. Lawyer. That is correct for one point. So coming out of Abel's spin, I have John in the lead 12 to 11. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yes, that's what I have. Okay. So we will bring the wheel back up, and we will bring Coho in. Okay, John, this is your spin. And you land in the category of scores and soundtracks. Would you like to keep I, that or spin again? I'd say we can respin that. Yeah, I... I I'm not horrible. I mean, I fear right. it a little bit, but I think we should respin, yeah. Yeah, we'll spin again. All right. This is the category you are stuck with. Okay. 
And you're going to get stuck with scores and soundtracks. Use so, multiple, you're good. Okay. We will, Dylan, would you like to give John his questions in the category of scores and or soundtracks? Absolutely. All right. So your first question, John, in scores and soundtracks. Not including West Side Story, what was the most recent film directed by Steven Spielberg that was not composed by John Williams? I got to go multiple on that. All right. Your, op your options are <clears throat> A, Ready Player One, B, The Post, C, B The BFG, or D, Bridge of Spies. I'll say The Post. That is incorrect. So we will go over to Abel for the one point steal. Your options again are A, Ready Player One, B, The Post, C, The BFG, or D, Bridge of Spies. I'm thinking it's uh, Bridge of Spies. That is also incorrect. We were looking for A, Ready Player One. All right, your next question, John. What rap group created the song It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp for the film Hustle and Flow? I believe that's 3-6 Mafia. That is correct for two points. <laughs> Who composed the score to Goodwill Hunting? Cool. Just give me multiple. All right. So is A, Hans Zimmer, B, Randy Newman, C, Danny Elfman, or D, Alan Silvestri? I'll say Hans Zimmer. That is incorrect for the one point steal, Abel. Your options again are A, Hans Zimmer, B, Randy Newman, C, Danny Elfman, or D, Alan Silvestri? I'll go with uh, D, Alan Silvestri. Is also incorrect. We were looking for C, Danny Elfman. Oh, wow. Well. I'm learning things. I'm learning things. <laughs> for what film did Kenny Loggins record the song Playing with the Boys? Top Gun. That is correct for two points. And your final question Who composed the score for Taxi Driver? Give me multiple. Your options are A, Jerry Goldsmith, B, Alex North, C, Bernard Herman, or D, Henry Mancini. Let's say Bernard Herman. And that is correct for one more point. All right. Woo! Don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> All right. So coming out of that round, I have John at 17, Abel at 11. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get into round three. Round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. The categories they will be able to pick from tonight are horror, 2010s, comedy, biopics, actors and actresses, action adventure, comic book movies, and romance. We're going to let them pick their categories right now, and we will get back to you right now. Okay, we are back going into round three, and our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. John has picked his one in biopics, his two in comedy, his three in action adventure, and his four in horror, whereas Abel has picked his one in actors and actresses, his two in horror, his three in 2010s, and his four in comic book movies. Since Abel is down by six, we will start with him with his one-pointer in actors and actresses. Take it away, Dylan. All right, Abel, your one-point question in actors and actresses. Who stars as Harry Call in The Conversation? Gene Hackman. That is correct for one point. All right, so we'll go to your two-point question in horror, which is, what is the name of Danny Torrance's alter ego in The Shining? Five. Is it or Tommy? Tommy? Can you say that again, sorry? Tommy? Uh, that is incorrect. We were looking for Tony. Tony. That's what... All right. So then we will go to your three-point question in 2010s. Who directed Chronicle? Josh Trank. That is correct for three points. All right. Unfortunately, we still need to stay with you for your four-point question in comic book movies to send it back to John. Or if you miss this, John will be the winner. Yep. Your, 
question is, what comic book movie features a location known as the Hot Gates? Five, four, three, Constantine. And your winner by way of technical knockout, John the Reaper Mar. The correct answer was 300. Oh, right. Nice. So uh, we will go to post match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second place finisher tonight, Abel. Abel, you, you were able to get all the way to your four pointer, but it match the win didn't quite work out for you. How are you feeling overall? Um, yeah, not too good. Let's be honest. The uh, Jack Nicholson round sort of killed me. Thought I would do pretty well, but I don't know. It just sort of stumped me a couple of those. Mm, he got some great steals. <clears throat> I wasn't able to get some steals off of him and scores and soundtracks where I probably could have. But yeah, at that point. Round three, I had to have like a great round three and it just didn't work for me, but it's all good. John's great, so I don't mind. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you played well. Seven in round one, one away from a perfect round, did well there. Jack Nicholson hit you a little, just movies that you weren't as aware of and he got That's the steals. Cool. He got the steals necessary to put him a little bit ahead. That's basically yeah. how that game changed. Um, but I think you played well. Obviously shows you have... A very good. That's out. fair. Yeah. I think I'm cutting out a little bit. Where did you? Oh, you just kind of popped back in. I didn't even know you were gone. I'm sorry. I think I'm lagging out. I didn't. If I interrupted somebody, I didn't mean to. Uh, right. But we'll be happy to see you again, Abel. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. now we'll come over. We will be going over to Coho and John Dylan. I'm going to let you take the interview because I'm lagging so bad. I feel like. Sure. All right. I've never done this before. Uh, well, John, you pulled off the victory in your in your debut. Uh, you were a rookie who I feel like has had a lot of hype on him going into this season. So how do you feel with your first victory? Well, I guess the hype was uh, deserved because I pretty much stomped him. So that's pretty good, right? I mean, I, I can't you. really agree with you. I, I told you. that was, He's the rock. He's the yeah. rock. And we hit Abel in the head today. Uh, yeah. TKO. Money. Uh, that was beautiful. Perfect round one. Beautiful. Uh, I, I I have very few notes on this performance for our first Back match. Back to on composers, I understand. But I got I got you guys to help me out. I'll be back. Exactly. I, I will do better, I promise. You're you're with the data faction. We got you. Yeah, Don't worry. Yeah. We're gonna work on we're gonna work on that. We're gonna come back. We're gonna be able to beat a lot of people because guess what? Not a lot of people in this league good at data, but you're in the right place for that. Uh at the end of the day, perfect round one. Not minus the bonus, but you know what? Pfft, Tom was kind of fair. Fuck Tom was kind of fair. Who cares? <laughs> Norman Jewison, fucking nerd. Uh, I didn't have to answer any horror questions. Hi, I'm to, looking for a new faction that respects. We didn't have team. to answer a round three in a debut yeah. match. Money. Who is yeah. next? Well, John, uh, you know, uh, who who are you hoping to maybe play next down the line? That's that's the question that we ask when we don't have anyone directly line up. We want and Jake Meltzer. Ignore whoever you say. We want, we want Jake, Jake Meltzer. Yeah, I want Jake Meltzer. And if I win, I want his glasses. Give us the belt. I, I really hope that doesn't become the new currency for wins and losses. <laughs> I would die. Uh, thank you, John. Dylan, final thoughts on the match. Yeah, I mean, look, I think Abel did really well. It's just sometimes you get a bad spin in round two. Uh, or you have a category that you're confident in, but it just ends up not going your way. And it can sometimes sink you, and it sucks. But, John, we really delivered today. And, yeah, I'm excited to see what both of these guys do in the future. Absolutely. Well, thank you to Abel. Thank you to John. Thank you to their managers. Thank you to Dylan for co-hosting. That was a delight. Uh, thank you, everyone at home, for watching. I'm Caleb Boatman. This is Multiplex Movie Warzone. See you later. Fun storm in the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye.